This is Ryan Owens with the RJF team at Keller Williams. Glad to be here with Carson Vaughn uh, with Guild Mortgage. Uh, Carson is one of our most trusted partners. Uh, he's, he's helped me many times. He's helped our clients many times with his knowledge and solution-based approach to the mortgage industry. We were talking the other day, kind of brainstorming through different programs out there, and you mentioned a down payment assistance program that's maybe been out there that hasn't been something that buyers have been able to take advantage of or use based on how competitive the market had been in the past. Now we're starting to see those become a little more common. Mm. And so if you could kind of talk through that program, talk through maybe some uh, just bullet points of what that looks like for buyers okay. that, that might be on the fence. And over the last five years, if you were a first time home buyer or a buyer that didn't have 20% to put down, you were at a competitive disadvantage. For the first time in a long time, a first time home buyer, or in our case, even someone who's not a first time home buyer, but that someone that maybe doesn't have a huge down payment to make or doesn't have a down payment at all, can still take advantage um, of, of buying a home right now. And so there's one program in particular that, that we're using to help lots of first time home buyers, but you, again, you don't have to be a first time home buyer to utilize this program, is, is a program through the state of Texas and they've set aside funds that they will use to help you purchase your home. And you can get anywhere from two to 5% of assistance from the state of Texas. And the beautiful thing about it is that it is forgivable. I know free money sounds too good to be yeah. true, but what it is is a forgivable second lien where let's just use an example of a 400,000 purchase price. Okay. Your down payment on a typical uh, FHA loan would be somewhere around three and a half percent down. Well, you could use this program to get 3% assistance to cover your down payment. So in this case, it would be 3% on a 400,000 purchase price is $12,000, yeah. right? And as long as you keep it for three years, they'll forgive it. Let's just say interest rates came down and you wanted to take advantage of refinancing. Okay. You would then owe that money back, but it's only if you chose to refinance. Only if you chose to refinance or if you chose or to, to sell, sell within yeah. the first three years. But here's the beauty of it. That money is still better than the money that you get from me because I'm charging you an interest rate. This is interest Zero, free. Zero percent loan. Yeah. So it's a loan to you if you pay it back. It's a gift to you if you hold the house for three years and don't refinance. It's 12 grand. Yeah. Like wow. it's such a great deal. What are the catches, right? Don't have to be a first time home buyer, but you do have to be below 110% of the area median income, which works out to be about $138,000 a year of income, and that's qualifying income. That's so, in Williamson County? That's for Williamson County. Okay. And so let's just say we have a wife that's the breadwinner and she makes 120 grand a year, and the husband will make it 10 grand a year, right? Or 20 grand a year, and, and maybe that puts them over the income limit. If I don't need the husband's income to qualify, then then I'm not required to consider his income. Okay. Some of the other programs, if grandma lived with you and grandma received social security income, we had to include yeah, it. This is qualifying income only, which makes it really exciting because it's going to be available to more people. Mm -hmm. Now in Williamson County, there's a secondary grant that, that a lot of people don't know about, that Guild Mortgage that we have access to, that's an additional $7,500, it's a flat dollar amount, and it is a pure grant it is required to pair it with this program that we've been talking about. Okay. There are no restrictions on it. There's no strings attached. It can be used towards the down payment or the closing costs or buying down the interest rate. So Ryan, we're talking about 12 grand plus another 7,500. We're talking almost $20,000 on a $400,000 purchase price that you don't have to be a first time home buyer and it's pretty generous with the income limits. That's pretty incredible. Are, are people taking advantage of this right now or people just don't know about it? A lot of people don't know about the extra grant program and a lot of people think that the state programs are on total household income, which they have been in the past and that income used to be as low as 70 or $80,000 of household income. But over the last several years, we've seen the household income increase. We've seen average wage growth, right? And so that income went to 110 last year and it's now 138 this year. It was 80 something the year before, 60 something the year before that. So it's literally doubled in four years. But a lot of people that do what I do just have it in their head that, oh, people make too much money rather than staying really up to speed on the guidelines. Okay, thank you, man. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. This, this solution-based approach, this is just 
one example of one particular program, what I encourage you to do, if, you're, if you've been on the fence about purchasing, please give us a call so that we can talk with you about your goals, we can talk and create a plan, we can connect you with the right partners, such as Carson, uh, to talk to different programs that might be available. There's solutions out there in this market that we want to get that information in front of you so that you can make the best decision for you, for your family. So thank you for taking the time to watch today and hopefully we can talk soon.